In this video, you will learn how to solve different math problems to prepare for the SVAB and CFAT exams. So let's solve some problems here. A woman has 60 ornaments. She decides to divide them evenly among her three grandchildren. How many ornaments will each child receive? So originally, the woman has 60 ornaments, and then she wanted to divide it to, uh, among her three grandchildren. So we just have to divide um, 60 by 3, which is just equal to 20. So the answer here is 20. If one dog eats five pounds of food each week, how many dogs will 65 pounds of food feed for a week? Now to solve um, this problem, we just have to divide the total amount of food, which is 65 pounds by the amount of food each dog requires, which is five pounds. So that would be 65 divided by five which is equal to 13. So therefore, 65 pounds of food can feed 13 dogs for a week. All right. A man owns a store. One week, he sells 100 loaves of bread. If he sells twice as many loaves the next week, how many loaves did he sell in total? Okay, it's given here in the problem that in the first week, the man sells 100 loaves of bread. And in the next week, he sells twice as many loaves, which would be um, 2 times 100, which is just equivalent to 200 loaves of bread. Now to determine the total number of loaves he sold, we just have to add the number of loaves sold each week. So that would be 100 loaves um, for the first week and then 200 loaves for the next week. And that would give us 300 loaves of bread in total. Okay, so the answer here is... Uh, 300. The man sold a total of 300 loaves of bread. A classroom has 15 boys and 13 girls. If 10 more girls join the class, what is the ratio of girls to boys? So initially the classroom has 15 boys and 13 girls. So after 10 more girls join, the number of girls becomes um, 13 plus 10. And that would be a total of 23 girls. And now the ratio of girls to boys can be calculated by dividing the number of girls by the number of boys. So that would be um, 23 over 15, or we can write this as 23 is to 15. So that is the ratio of girls to boys when 10 more girls join the class. So this is the answer here. If one van can carry six people, how many vans are needed to carry 200 people? Now, to solve this, to determine how many vans are needed to carry 200 people, we divide the total number of people by the capacity of each van. So that would be 250 people divided by six uh, people per van. And this would give us uh, 
vans. Since we cannot have a fraction of a van, then we need to round up um, our answer to the nearest whole number. So this would uh, be rounded up to approximately 42 vans. All right, so this is our answer here. 42 vans would be needed to carry 200 for, uh, 250 people. If one person consumes eight glasses of water on a daily basis, how many glasses of water will 18 people consume? All right. If one person consumes eight glasses of water on a daily basis, so we can calculate the total number of glasses of water consumed by 18 people by multiplying the amount of consumed by one person by the number of people. So that would be eight glasses um, of water per person times 18 people okay and this cancels out and this would give us 100 total of 144 um, glasses of water therefore 18 people will consume a total of 144 glasses of water. Expand the following. 9x times 3x squared plus 2x minus 9. So how are we going to expand um, this expression here? We just have to um, distribute 9x, the term 9x, to the expression inside the parentheses. So that would be 9x times uh, 3x squared plus 9x times 2x minus 9x times 9. So let's do that uh, individually. That is 9x times 3x squared, then copy the operator sign plus, then 9x times 2x, then uh, copy the operator sign uh, minus uh, 9x times 9. Then we simplify. 9x times uh, 3x squared is just 27 x cube all right so when we multiply um terms with the same uh, base we just have to add the exponents from the law of exponents so that is one plus two that's why it's three here plus nine x times two x that would give us 18 x squared minus 9x times 9, that is 81x. So the answer would be 27x cubed plus 18x squared minus 81x. So the answer is this one. Determine the volume of a rectangular box with a length of 5 inches, a height of 7 inches, and a width of um, 9 inches. Alright, so let's draw our rectangular box here. Mm. Alright, it says um, the box has a length of 5 inches. Let's say this is the length, and then the height, which is 7 inches, and the width, um, which is 9 inches. Uh -huh. Okay. C. 
seems like the width is longer than the length. <laughs> Alright, so let's just follow the problem here. So the length is 5, the height is 7, and okay, let's just um, change that so it could look real. So this is the width, and this is the length. All right, find the volume. So the volume of the rectangular box can be solved by using this formula, a length times width times height. So we just have to multiply everything. So volume of the rectangular box is just equal to um, 5 times 9 times 7. And this would give us okay, 45 times seven so this is just equivalent to 315 inch cube inches cube so this is the answer here <laughs>